And there it is, folks. The upgrade to the Martyr A1- the Martyr 1A3. Supposed to be, uh, it goes from 7.3 to 8.0, as you can see. The difference is supposed to be the armor was upgraded, and it's supposed to defend the vehicle against the 20, or the uh, 2A42 cannon on the BMP2. So we'll see if that's actually true. Uh, it also has better suspension, uh, better heating system, some other things that won't really come into play in War Thunder. They took the remote machine gun position off the tail, off the back deck of it. And uh, it's still got the same cannon and the same Milan ATM, ATGMs with the same number of ATGMs. Also, the uh, hatches on the top of the uh, crew compartment, or the, sorry, the transport compartment should be a uh, slightly different range, different arrangement. So, we will see. Uh, we've got a coax machine gun up here and uh, the different sighting systems, the smoke launchers, and the cannon up there. We'll see how it works in-game. I'm not expecting any real miracles. But uh, with only four Milan missiles, ee, that's going to be tough. But we'll see what we can do. We'll try to basically just get to the sides of every map as fast as we possibly can. Do some scouting and try to flank. And you only use the cannon when we absolutely have to. And uh, try to use the Milan missiles to do most of our anti-tank work. And then hopefully stay close enough to a point to reload some. So there's the uh, hatches reordered as we were talking about. And um, just a quick look around at the vehicle. We'll look at the modifications quick. So as you can see, I already unspaded everything. I've got a 10 battle, 15% um, RP booster on. So I've got night vision enabled, thermals enabled for this, but I'm only going to use them if we get a night battle. I'm not going to use them for thermals during a day battle for the first five battles. After the first five battles, I'm going to spade it out and we'll take the DM-63 rounds in and run the thing fully spaded. I'm not gonna use thermals again unless I get a night battle in the first five battles. Ordinarily, if I got a night battle during the stock part, I would just not drive this vehicle and just drive the rest of my lineup and then just skip it because there's no point in showing you a night battle when you can't see anything. But with the 10 battle RP booster on, I don't wanna miss one of those battles, so we will only use it for that. Other than that, we've got the default ammo, which is the same ammunition all the way through the first three. The DM-51 and the DM-43, they're the same ammunition types. They're just different um, ratios. So you can see here, if you look at the 10 meter penetrations, 57, 42, 13, and that is the same across all of them. So the difference between the default and the DM-51 is this is just better for anti-air, 50-50 and 75-25, and this is 75-25 of HVAPs. So I'm just going to take all default belts because... It's while I might be better off, you know, with this, I'd rather uh, hit airplanes with this belt than try to hit tanks with this one. So there you go. We've got the four Milans. Let's take a look at the X-ray. It should be basically the same as the uh, now the armor is supposed to be better. We'll take a look from uh, say 500 meters out against the BMP2, and we'll see what happens here. Uh, should be rank 5, I think. Where's the BMP2? I guess it's rank 6. Okay. That was rank 5 still. Uh, BMP2, there we go. BMP2 will go from 500 meters. Okay. No damage. Okay. Cool. 500 meters is not going to do anything. Let's try the APDS and see more likely. Okay, well, it's not going to hit there. It can get through here. It can get through the lower front, but it's not going to get through the upper. That's cool. Well, it can get through the vision slots, of course. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's not going to actually get through the hull from 500 meters. So that's cool. It's supposed to work that way, so let's hope it actually does, in fact, protect it from the uh, BMP-2. All right. So X-Ray, we've got three crew members. There should be people in the back, but of course there aren't going to be any for War Thunder. Uh, we've got the cannon and the MG3 up top. And we've got the uh, Milan missile launcher up there. It's too bad you can't like park somewhere and detach this thing and send one dude out. And like set up a little Milan launching station. But that might be a little bit too simulation-y for War Thunder, so... We're going to bring all the ammunition, and uh, there's not really much else to show besides the camouflages, so let's do that, and then let's get this thing into battle. So, oh yeah, 
I forgot. My uh, premium apparently ran out between last night to this morning. I didn't notice it was uh, that close. So I'm going to actually do this first 10 without any premium to really show you a stock performance. And then technically I could repurchase premium for the last five battles, but I probably won't remember, so I'm not planning to do so. So you'll get the real... All of you out there who play without a premium account, rejoice for your day is at hand. This first 10 is finally actually for you. So as far as the camouflages go, we got brown, standard German camouflage, for 370 kills. We got winter for 540 kills. We've got three-tone cart for 200 golden eagles. And we got tricolor desert for 200 golden eagles. So there you go, standard camouflages. Let's get this sucker into battle. All right, battle one, potentially. Not a great map. We'll see what happens here. So the 15% RP booster will somewhat compensate for the lack of a premium account, although not very much since it's like half of the RP gain. Well, we'll see what happens. We have got America, Russia, Britain, and China. My, okay, well, there's a couple down. Good. Big battle. Okay. It's like a polar bear, only not. All right. Be in sight out there yet? Clearly, people have things in sight. I just don't see any. There was one right there, but I don't want to risk the scouting on it. All right. How much of my team you think is going to stop back on this hill? Besides all of them. Oh no, there we go. Good. With me, Type 87. Come with me. Well, there's one down. Camping up on top of the hill. Not an obvious place at all, guys. Alright. Love to get up here fast enough to get some shots at these guys that are marked, but not gonna happen. The top speed is 47 miles an hour. No, it's not gonna happen on this map, of course, but maybe, maybe on some of the maps, we might expect to get 25 to 28 miles an hour on this kind of a map. We can ever actually. Just drive straight and not have to swerve around a ton of trees and stuff. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Hear anybody? Actually, I'm. Yep, I believe I did hear a BMP or something. Okay. Really? Right through those bushes. Okay, battle two. I did end up getting an assist in battle one, so there's that, I guess. Oh, well, we definitely got up tiered here. So be it. So at least I managed to set that guy on fire before he shot me through the bushes with HE, but anyway. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, the uh, cost for parts is 3,500 modification RP, and the rest of tier one is 5,400. FPE is 3,300 uh, modification RP, and the rest of Tier 2 is 5,000. I got 395 modification RP in that first battle. Now, granted, I didn't really accomplish much. I did some damage and got an assist, so... Needless to say, I'm not 
really confident in getting parts unlocked in the first five battles. It's possible if I have some much improved <laughs> battle results in the next couple battles, but judging from battle one, um, I don't know. The 20 mil cannon is not designed to take on enemy tanks. It's really designed for suppressing infantry and defeating IFVs more than anything. So, not we're not using it in its ideal situation here in War Thunder, so we'll just have to bear that in mind, I guess. I'm not anticipating the results to be great, but I'm hoping for, you know, significantly better than Battle 1. 27 miles an hour. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Go back to 7.3. Oh my god, we are crawling right now. Boy, do I miss the Type 87 RCV right now. <laughs> Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. Got him. Got him. Woo! Woo! Got him. Thank goodness. Oh, what a relief. What a relief. I don't know if he panicked and tried to guide his missile at something behind me or what, but his missile went past me right as I started getting ready to shoot at it. I was more focused on guiding my missile at him than trying to shoot down his missile. Possible he will have uh, scouted me. We need to watch out for that BMD-4. Thinking the BMD-4 is probably going to be up here. Maybe not. Alright. Be ready when you come over the hill to get shot at. I'm not thinking that the BMD-4's cannon is going to have too much trouble with the armor on this thing, so... Got a shot at him. That'll work. Oh, and it's the guy who was bitching about. It. Yeah. That <sighs> was the guy who was bitching about ATGM too, which is sort of funny. Well, XM 803, you got a target now. Alright, Battle 3, we got 1248 for Modification RP there, which brings us to a grand total so far of 1,643 out of the 3,500 that we need for parts, so possible that we'll get there. We're about halfway there, so reasonably you could have parts in four to five battles without premium and probably in two to three battles with premium, so that's kind of reassuring. Also, I think it's funny that the guy that I killed was mad that I used my ATGM. The guy driving the T-62. Oh, lucky. Oh, thanks, dude! The guy driving the T-62 was mad that I didn't use my 20mm cannon to engage him and I used my ATGM. Which I think is dang hilarious. Oh, that's cool. Come on, missile, hit him. I got him! Oh my god, I killed him! 
My missile hit him way after death. I can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe I killed him. Alright, Battle 4, and uh, astonishingly, as much as I enjoy getting that kill there, and we won the battle, I only got 239 RP for that for modifications, with a 15% RP booster on. So, unless we get 1700 RP here in this battle, it's not really going to matter, because after that, uh, after Battle 5, we'll be spaded out. So, at least uh, we'll either have parts next battle, or all the battles after that. So there is that. Anyway, up the hill. Come on, baby. You can do it. Up the hill. Up the hill. The anti-tank German brigade is moving up the hill. Nobody up there yet. Everybody rushing A that I can see. Okay. Fired that missile off. The 901, maybe? I don't think so. Possible, but I doubt it. Attention to the designated grid zone. Come on. More likely to have been one of those two. Probably the rocket hot. Come on. Up the hill faster. Definitely run into some bad things here. Squad mates down. Probably from across the way, I suspect. up here. Somebody's coming. the 20 mil? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we're leaving. Bradley, I think. He'll peek through here and not see me. Really could use some help up here. Our entire team is right down here. Nice. Woo! Something else is still here. Some help up here on this mountain, real fast. Nice. I don't know why you missed that badly missile, but that's really disappointing. I 
I guess because it doesn't depress like the cannon does. One missile left. Okay. There we go. That's better. Somebody's going to come through this gate in a minute. some backup up here, guys. Oh my god, a heavy behind me. Okay, stop shooting, stop shooting, stop shooting. Need the smoke to go away. Really need the smoke to go away. Come on. God damn it. Really could have used some help up on the castle there, team. It'd be swell if somebody made it up there sometime today. Still, one kill for us. We actually got parts. I got 117 points more than I needed. Got 1700 something points there, I can't believe it. So I got, cool, thanks buddy. Ended up with 117 points left over of RP towards FP. So after this battle, it'll be spaded, so it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of funny that I was able to get parts one battle early. Did it. If you have premium, you could probably do it in three, maybe two battles of good battles, so. Now, if this thing had more than four missiles, I would be tempted to go up here and find an overwatch point. Probably play missile tennis with these guys. But with only four missiles and no real other capability to destroy vehicles, I'm going to try and get towards A. Because we're just not going to have enough chance to... Uh... Um get reloads and not much chance to do anything with the 20 mil and if I was up here out of missiles and then had to drive all the way around or even just down here and get to A man forget it I need to be close enough to A that I can try to do something to help our team hold it and then be able to reload my missiles so onwards to A we go oh there's one marked over there I wonder if I get a shot at him probably not no not behind all the buildings okay trying to get to a bridge as fast as possible Going for this one because it's a little farther away from danger and it's a little more directly pointed towards danger once I start heading on up the bridge. Oh, nice! It's a good tank to knock out. Get up there, helicopter. Get up there, heli. Alright, let's not take up the entire bridge here because I got a feeling people behind me are going to be faster than me. We'll slide over the side a little bit, make room. We'll head up this road and see what we can do. Oh, they're already up on their sniper hill. Okay. Well, I'll stop and engage them if I see one. There's one right there. Not going to get a good shot of him. He's moving too fast. Didn't expect to hit him. Don't see anybody else out there, and I don't see our scouted target anymore. Okay. They're on A. We need to watch out for this guy. I'd like to get a shot in at the guy I have scouted. Ah, I can't see him behind all the... If I could just get clear of this rooftop right here, I might actually get a chance to shoot at him. There he is. I've definitely got a chance to hit him. Well, gotta 
can't wait for him to expose himself again. Fly, Milan, fly! Attention to the designated grid square! I think I shot past him. Of course. And we're on fire because of course we are. Where is he? What hit me? Okay, battle six, we are fully spaded. Let's see if the mobility is better. It should be. Interesting choice of turn angle. All right, acceleration, mobility, climb, turret rotation, all these things should be better. All these things should be better, as well as uh, our armor penetration with the 20 mil cannon. With the DM-63 belt, should be considerably better. All right, we're gonna try and get up to A. I'd like to say as fast as possible, but I mean, going uphill and having to turn in this game is a death sentence for speed. Very few vehicles that can pull that off without bleeding off almost all of their speed. We got America, we got Russia, we got Italy. There could be some fast vehicles coming our way. Our entire team is going between A and B. That's not a terrible thing. Also, one thing I can now do is this. Ooh, that ain't great. It's better than not being able to see thermally, but uh, that is not great. Not great thermal performance. That is pretty low resolution thermal. It's all right. But it is low resolution. There, capture an A. I half wish I'd saved my Artie. Didn't kill the gun barrel. I, how? How did I not kill his gun barrel? How did I not kill his gun barrel? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. How did that not kill his gun barrel? Come on. Okay, Battle 7, and what a friendly spawn we got. This is exactly the direction I wanted to head. I like it. Okay. Alrighty then. That Rambo. Alright, um... What to do, what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna head this way and then try to come in behind or to the side of them, more or less. Try to get in at the caps as I can to help. Can't quite reach A yet, but as soon as I can, I'm gonna put Artie up there, though. Right about here ought to do it. That ought to do it. All right, America, and Russia, and Japan. Okay. Come on, Artie, it would be hilarious. You actually killed someone. I should've put Artie on B, but I was kinda hoping my team would make it there first, you know? Enemy forces have captured a zone. Oh. 
Okay, well that wasn't great. They rolled B in a hurry. Shot ahead of me, shot ahead of me, heard it but don't see it. Hmm. Okay, found him. Ugh. That was closer than I wish it had been. Need to hurry before he respawns. It's highly likely that he will, since he was only in a light tank. He did. Okay, we need to hurry. We need to really hurry. Really cool to get in behind them here. Oh, maybe that was an M48 that I also heard. He dead? He is. He's dead. Ooh, not good with the arty though. We need artillery support. We're losing. An IS-3. Slight issue. Heavy tank coming up behind me. Somebody else coming. Feeling it was going to be him. We're controlling most of the zones. Somebody else is coming right close. Excellent. Cover me. It's right there. It sure is. Let's see his gun barrel. He's trying to aim at an airplane or something? It's American Heavy, I do believe. I'm gonna turn the engine off here. Ouch. Two missiles left. Maybe I should just go around him. Or we'll just drop Artie on him first. Then we'll go in after him. Attention to the map. There's another one coming. Okay, that was him. Well, either it was him or there's two of them. There's definitely two of them, but that'll work. Hello. I would have felt better if the cannons had killed him. But I'll take any kill I can get at this point. Missile was still reloading. That battle's been all right. Yes! Maybe we'll reload the missiles real quick, like, and we'll just watch up this way for any enemies sneaking up the highway. And by the highway, I mean the upwards way, not, like, a highway. Got a guy here. This battle's been all right. 
One more missile and we're moving out. Hey. There's still a few of them left. Oh, one up there. Let's see if we can get a sight picture on him. Not quite. Oh, well, sort of. I mean, that's got to be him, right? It is him. I just can't hit whatever little bit of him is peeking up over the ridge line. But I can hit him with that. There we go. It was, yeah, that was the M47 was the uh, 50 cal sneaking up over the top. Okay, well, that there, folks, is a GG. That went pretty well. No complaints about that battle. Well done, everybody. Very nice. Almost the first ace battle. I'm totally happy with the four kills I got, though. Hey, that went very well. Okay, battle eight. Let's see if we can't <laughs> get up this way. I don't need the Charlie cap necessarily. If I can get there quickly enough, I'll take it just for the sake of uh, some cashish and some RP towards probably the martyr itself. I don't think I'm researching anything else besides the actual martyr that I'm driving. But um, yeah. Roads there. I love the amount of dust that comes up and hangs in the air from some 2x4s. 2x4s that have been out in the weather have dust blowing up all over them, and it hangs in the air as if gravity is just not a thing. Don't you me? There's like three of us up here. Wish I'd seen him a little er earlier. Is that a light tank? I really wish I'd seen him earlier. Okay, bust on through. Let's get to where we can cover the approach to Bravo. Anybody else in sight out there? To the map. Artie is not going to be reloaded in time. Maybe I can get behind those guys at the uh, five-way crossroads, though. That would be nice. We are losing. Alright, Roy Cott. Counting on you over there, buddy. Because I can't hear shit right now. Where, 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 where? I did hear something over there, damn it. Really? Come 
on, move. Martyr. Move it, Martyr. The, ar the armor held enough. Colonel's on for this one. He's dead. And that's friendly. Okay, well then. There's not that many of them gone yet. Go take Bravo. They're taking Charlie, guys. Defend the same point. We got his driver. God Almighty! Please reload faster. How does an M60 drive through there and nobody, nobody could hear an M60 engine? This game's sound balance is such a mess right now. We all should have heard an M60 driving up there from two miles away. All right, battle nine, let's get to it. We almost had the ace battle. Swell to finish with a couple of those. We'll see how it goes. Well, that's gonna help. Somebody driving. Squeezy boy. Haha, -ha, funny meme. Funny meme, haha. -ha. Now, the question is is it funny meme or is it low tier player who doesn't have a lineup and somebody brought him up? Yeah, low tier player who doesn't have a lineup. And his squad mates brought him into 8.0. Fantastic. Fantastic. didn't come back for that one. Allied forces have captured a zone. Attention to the designated grid square. Most of the strategic zones are captured. Got him. Still scouted. There he is. Already on him. Okay. Attention to the map. Attention to the map. 
Come on, Artie, get him. Come on, Artie. Come on, artillery. here. There he is. And he is down. Oh, wait, he's not down, is he? He's not down, and I can't... Okay, I think he's down now. Victory is close. That was close. Oh, seriously? Oh my god, Gaijin. <laughs> okay. Alright, Battle 10, I gotta say I've had better maps for the Martyr. Not the map I would have preferred to see for the final battle, but we'll see what happens. We got America and Russia, okay. Let's see if I can't head down the middle and kinda hang around here-ish, maybe. Kind of do some scouting with thermals, maybe. Maybe get a little bit of speed going at some point, perhaps, would be nice. Holy shit, somebody's up there already? I think? That's what I just saw? Come on. Thermals are so bad, oh my god. Come on, Martyr! Holy God, move, 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 move. Come on, martyr. God, what is the terrain modifier here? This is awful. Dang it. Come on, don't get stuck. Naturally, they're just where I can't get a good shot at them. See them at all. Good targets. 
The variant, the variable or variance in the zoom, variable I guess, the variable zoom is really good. Really good. Attention to the designated grid square. If you say so. Ooh, hello. That'll work. That worked quite nicely. It looks like I got some arty too. Another one, or is he still flying? Shot right up here. Still can't see him, but I saw where the shot came from, so good scout on him. Looks like our guy's got the guy that was right down here. That's, he's dead too. Still quite a lot of them left. Oh, I can actually see him. Get out of here. Dead. Nice. There, though. Can't see him though. Artillery is not reloaded. Still a lot of them left. Jet. Only prop. Oh, let's see if that's a good drop. Sure was. He got a double. Well done. We've got Charlie. We've got Bravo. We've got Alpha. Critical hit, driver loader. Well, that's unfortunate. We're not going to get a good shot in on him. He just went right through all my shots. Save some ammo. Got him. Scouted. Okay. No, oh, what? Lame. There we go. That's good. Good mark. Oh, that's him right there. And he's dead. I just wasted a missile. Whoops. Whoops. Missile, you need to reload faster. Didn't get him scouted, whoops. Keep it up. The victory will be ours. Scouting! Need to get scouting up. He fired, go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'm gonna have to go get more ammo in a second. How many we got left? There's uh, still a few. Oh, let's head to Charlie. Attention to the map. Heavy coming in. Attention to the map. To Charlie, we go. Gotta get more ATGMs. We need the more Milans. Oh, he's dead. Still need more Milans though. We'll get at least two. And then we'll bail if we must. And we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good so far. Two, 
two. We better just go with three. The gun crew is ready. We're for our do your thing, Artie. Come on. Come on, artillery. Do your thing. Do your thing, artillery. Come on, martyr. Up the hill. Come on, Artie. Give me some good hits. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a shot on that heavy. Much as I would like to. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to get a shot right here. I want to. I just don't think it's going to happen. Maybe. Maybe up here. Hang on, STB. I'm trying to get to you. Nope. No good shot. No good shot at all. Maybe right up here. Maybe. Maybe right up here. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to get to you. Hang on, STB. God, it's so slow to get over terrain in this map now. God, if I had a little bit of time, just a little bit of time. Unbelievable, man. Oh, my God. The missile went over him. That missile can't depress enough. I should have gone one more terrace down, and I probably would have been able to hit him with it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even know that I could have depressed the gun that far. Still, we survived and we got a kill. So, uh, for final thoughts for the Martyr 1A3, um, I had a better time than I had in the Martyr A1, that's for sure. Nice. Um, it wasn't bad. It was, um... It's not great. You're you're definitely limited by the real main ability to kill tanks is the four Milan ETGMs that you carry, and that's it. You only get four real good chances. And if you're playing the edge of the map, as you probably should, you got to be real careful and pick your targets. Pick your targets wisely. The uh, 20 mil is all right against IFVs. It's much better when you get the DM63 belt, but of course that's way late in the game. Um, other than that, I mean, you can use it to probably do some engine damage, maybe blackout barrels if you're forced to use the 20 mil, or maybe set dudes on fire, but you probably can take out most IFVs, but you can't even kill every IFV from the front. BMPs are definitely armored against 20 mil from the front, so, uh, I would definitely say use your ATGMs as much as you can, and if you run out, you run out, you run back and try to get more. I mean, be, be careful... But, I mean, if, if you're in doubt, launch an ATGM. Touch off a Milan and just say, oh, well, I'll go get more if I live. Because better to be alive with no ATGMs left and four dead enemies than dead with four ATGMs left because you decided to test whether or not your cannon would work. So, that's about all I've got for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. There you go. This one was for all you folks without premium. So, this one's for you. As for everyone else, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next first 10. Take care out there, and good luck with your Martyr 1A3s, everybody.